Sisters, Annie here, uh, putting together another video on Coolgardie in Western Australia. It's a gold town that's uh, now virtually a ghost town and I visited there in 2016 and found it a really enjoyable place to visit. The museum there in town is well worth the trip and uh, I hope you enjoy this video. Cheers. Right, Kilgardie uh, is around 38 kilometres southwest of Kalgoorlie and it's got a population now of around 850 people, which is a far cry from its peak population of about 5,000, although I have seen it um, recorded as up to 16,000. The town of Kilgardie was established in 1892 with the main industry being the mining of alluvial gold until gold began to decrease in the early 1900s. A 25.5 kilo gold nugget, the second largest existing nugget in the world, called the King of the West, or sometimes known as the Normandy Nugget, was found in a creek bed at Coolgardie in 1995. What a whopper. The railway came to Coolgardie in 1896. These are photos of the old time and when I was there in 2016. They certainly built some beautiful old buildings. Uh, the Chamber of Mines there and the Coolgardie Warden's Court that was built in 1898. The museum there has a wonderful collection of bottles, including cod neck bottles, which we use for carbonated drinks and designed to um, close with a glass marble against a rubber seal to prevent gas escaping. They also got torpedo bottles um, or Hamilton bottles and they were used for carbonated drinks and they were designed so they couldn't be stood up and that way it kept the cork moist. Clay pipes that were found in Western Australia generally date before the 1890s and then they slowly went out of favour for rolled cigarettes. This church organ was supposed to be the uh, first church organ imported into Australia. The Afghan Camelias came across from Maree in about 1894. By 1898 there were about 300, um, all men, and eventually uh, relocated to Perth. They worshipped in tin roof mosques and camels were used to pull buggies, wagons and transport goods. Dry blower was used by the early goldfield prospectors 
to extract gold. Over 500,000 ounces are reported taken from the Kilgardie fields. The typical housing for a prospector was a canvas tent pegged to the ground over a dirt floor and then they later progressed on to bark huts but a lot depended on how much timber was available in the area. This is a photograph of a prospector named James Balzano who was quite a character and he was known as Kanauna's Barrow Man and he pushed a wheelbarrow made of bush sticks um, and a wheelbarrow wheel and a little wood case and he pushed that all around the WA gold fields. He made a valuable contribution in recording the history of the gold fields and there is a PDF available that I have put in the links if you're interested. If you enjoyed this presentation please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not a subscriber and feel free to share. Cheers.